So we tried the other spool, the other spool didn't quite work, but uh, here are the differential gears. So they are destroyed, there's a piece of gear here, that's a piece of a tooth, which more than likely came off of this. Uh, and if, again, if you remember from the other one, uh, you'll notice the difference. So this one's completely chewed up, this was getting chewed. Uh, so differential gears uh, will not work. So they have to be replaced. Um, but that uh, lock, locking sp uh, spool didn't work. So we're going to use a uh, 5382X. And these here should be the gears. So I'm going to see if they are. There's a piece in here that was not in this differential. So we're going to see if it's just an updated uh, differential that will work. Uh, it does come with the instructions, so it shows you how to build it. And uh, if you look at the Revo and T-Max, they're right here. Uh, these are used with several. Uh, oh, there's the piece. So the piece is not used with the T-Max. So there's a little metallic piece that is not used with this. Uh, and that's this larger piece. And that was really my question. But uh, we have that here, therefore this piece will not be used. I wonder why. Does it not really fit? Hmm. Not sure why. Uh, I'm going to try to build it with that piece, because this seems like it would help out a lot. Keep in mind that the T-Max does experience a lot of uh, forces, and this would help especially with the 3.3, that's interesting. All right, uh, pictures are the same, language doesn't matter, right? Uh, you probably can't see from the camera. Uh, all right, so for these here, you generally want to put a little bit of grease on the ends. And you're also, will be needing, let's see, some grease. You will also be needing your uh, your ring, your ring gear. Now I'm not going to use the other ring gear. Let's use the clean one. Uh, and the reason why is because I tried drilling it out to make it fit on the spool, which did not work, as I mentioned. Uh, it's probably not for T-Max. Probably for other vehicles, for example, maybe a slash 4x4 may work for those. Uh, let's see, a quick little comparison between the new and the old. Big difference. Uh, great. Let's look at these gears. Well, I'm just going to grease the shaft a little. And. Place that there. And I'm going to try to see if I can assemble it with this little component here. Uh, so let's try to do this one. And if you look at this, it just goes between the gears, so it'll go here. And this gear will just sit right there. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and grease this gear. I'm going to go grease the other still. Oops. I'll drop it. it there and I'll go ahead and apply some grease to this one. So I'm really curious if it'll fit. If it'll fit, I'll build it that way because as I said, it's a good reinforcement. So T-Max probably doesn't go that fast. That's probably why it doesn't use it, but I'm just going to see if it fits. I am curious. Here I'm just turning uh, the this little pinion as I apply the grease. That is all I'm doing. All right. Uh, great. So uh, the main uh, pinion gear and uh, 
uh, spur gear is this one right over here. Ah, sorry, I said spur ring gear. Uh, is 5779X. This is the one we will be using. It appears to have the same exact instructions. So let me just see. And they are precisely the same. All right. Go ahead and open this up. So that means this should be able to fit. And one of the things that I'm noticing here is uh, this is cut differently. So this is probably a stronger gear um, than the original. Looks bigger. Let's go ahead and compare. It. All right. So this was the original. It's still this little spool. Haven't removed it. Oh wow, yeah, there's a quite a difference. Uh, all right, so here it is. Uh, the new one, you can feel it back here. It has a little more material here by the gears. Uh, but it is a straight cut, it is not a spiral cut. So I'm gonna try it out. Uh, Said, might as well find the grease. Well, it's this one that would get the grease. I'll hold off on that. Uh, right now, the important thing is to see if this fits. So, this one here is just going to drop inside. some grease down in there. I guess I could have greased the back of this. That may have been easier. I already put some grease in there, but still. So it'll just be easier to apply some grease back here. And I'm going to just drop it in. Where's my thing? There we go. All right, perfect. Uh, so that is in there, spins, doesn't bind, we are good. Uh, all right. so, and at this point, I'm going to drop these other gears, and there's already grease in that gear, on that gear, uh, so I'm not worried about that. So this one will go this way, and it does fit. So one of the problems that happens with the T-Max uh, sometimes, or other vehicles, but for example the T-Max, especially when you go to the 3.3, those two little plastic, uh, you see the, the little uh, lands, the, the two lands and the valley? The lands will wear out right where the pin goes. So I'm not sure why they would not add that. Uh, is it for the weight? I'm not quite sure, but that slides right in, and that works as a re reinforcement so those gears don't uh, twist because that pin will eventually start digging into those lands. Um, so I'm, I'm not sure why they uh, don't add it, but uh, I'm going to place it there if it fits. I still have to set this on, but uh, before I do, uh, yeah, that is strange. Let's see if I move. Oh, wait a minute. Just gonna check, make sure there were no shims here. No, that's just the gear. Did this one have a shim? This one did have a shim. All right, so this one is the only shim. There were no new shims. Uh, something you may want to clean it out with alcohol. I'm just gonna rub this grease off. That's kind of off. Uh, but you can use some alcohol to clean this out. And this is going to be the one that's going to go here in the metal. Uh, I think it's 
instructions. There should actually be shims on both of them. I wonder why only one of them has shim. I'm going to have to look at my parts bin and see if I have another shim. But first, let's go ahead and grease this up. Around. There we go. Says this over here for now. And just a minute. Go ahead and close this shim up. All right. Uh, I need to check to see if I have a shim that's that right size. If not, uh, I'm just going to assemble everything, and then once I get the shim, we'll uh, take everything apart. But your shim is just going to slide right in there. And according to this, there should be shims on each one. So let me see if I have one because, unless it's probably stuck in there, uh, I'm accidentally throw it out. I'm losing a pair of gears. All right, let me check. Uh, so shims, just make sure you pick up this part number, which is. Uh, 5381. That's the part number that you want. So I'll pick that up at a later time. Uh, for now, at least I have a shim on this other side, which will go against the metal. And here it is. Uh, all right, so the fit is good. That means I'm going to go ahead and apply grease. this. Uh, I'll go ahead and apply a little more grease. It would be nice if these tubes were metal and I could just roll it. on all the gears because once I close this, I'm not going to open it for, well, until I get the shims. So I'm not really worried. I'm just trying to show you. Uh, so you just want an even coating of grease. You do not have to fill everything up with grease. It's not necessary unless you're trying to pack the differential uh, for some reason. Uh, there we go. And I'm just going to line up the holes. And I'm going to use the original hardware as the only hardware was provided. So when you disassemble your differential, just make sure not to lose your hardware. You will be needing it for uh, your new items. Uh, one second. Not going to tighten this one fully. Uh, just going to bring it close, just so this doesn't separate too much. Uh, just like that. See, this is still kind of loose. Then I'll install uh, the one that goes right across. So again, that that uh, metal piece that I placed there. Uh, According to the instructions manual, you do not use that on the Revo or Tmax differential. Uh, you do not use that on the Emax or E-Revo for that matter, and slash, you do not use it either. You only use it on the X01. Uh, it's, it, it looks like a reinforcement, but I don't see why not use it on the Tmax. Uh, it will add weight. It is a steel component. So it's going to add weight. You may slow down your vehicle, you have more rotating mass, uh, more inertia. But if it makes my differential stronger, I'll take that. Because I don't really, I mean, differentials are not the most accessible things on a uh, T-Max. Uh, so the less I have to worry about it breaking, the better. Although, it probably doesn't have as much power as an X01. Maybe it does. No, no, it doesn't. 
So one, I'm pretty sure, is 6S. Capable with a large motor. So now I'm going to start tightening them. I'm going to begin with this one. And then once I tighten, I'm going to test the differential. I'm just going to try to spin it. Uh, spin the inner gears, differential gear, see if it works or if it binds. Uh, but these are some of the things that you're going to run into when you buy uh, an old truck or maybe somebody gives you an old truck. Sometimes somebody will give you an old truck and be like, oh, here's an old truck, uh, fix it up. Uh, one of the things that they don't realize is uh, old truck's probably gonna cost us, you know, depending, it may cost you a lot more, it may or may not be worth fixing. Uh, so that's why you just have to tear it down and see what it needs. works. Uh, so when you spin one side, the other side should spin the opposite direction, and that's what it's doing. So this is smooth, nothing's binding. Um, All right, uh, so that's going to work. And assembling and reassembling everything. So I'm just going to assemble the entire thing. Uh, this is the old one. This is the one that did not work, if you remember. So we will place that there. We will move this over here. And uh, all right, so now uh, these are a few things that we need. So this will be going in here. And this isn't going to Inside of a bearing. I guess that will work. Oh. Well, let's grab the old one. Maybe I'll have to use the old gear. See, that fits. This does not fit. And there's nothing here I can remove to place in here. And if I look at the instructions, uh, there is a different bearing that you will be using. Eight by 16. Great. Eight by 16 bearing. Well, at this point, uh, the teeth look fine on this one, but this is a stronger, this looks like the stronger gear. Uh, let's go ahead and remove this and we'll do that. the same length. So that's going to be another issue. These are not the same length. They're also not the same ratio either. They are not the same. Well, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this here and I'm going to grab the shaft and I'm going to see if the shaft would go in there. And the answer is no. Therefore, this will not work on a T-Max. We have to cut this. Uh, all right, so this doesn't work on a T-Max, so we have to remove this. So, so far, I cannot use these, either one. Uh, great. And let's 
let's try this one. All right, well, the gears, uh, see the, the metal is black uh, and most of it's still black, but it'll be fine. I guess this will work for now. Uh, I don't know why I placed it there first. Uh, but let's see. Does this rotate? It does. And all these parts I will have to order. There's no way around it. I also need to grab another tube of black grease, which I have several. I just don't like opening up multiple. I like using one, and then once that one's spent, then I'll use the other one. Uh, all right. And that one's coated. Perfect. So shortly I will tell you what parts uh, you will need according to this. Well, uh, here for the pinion, uh, I'm just going to have to try to see if they have the old parts because these are the numbers that I was given. This is what was ordered. I was told it would work, but it does not work. Uh, so I am thinking I just need to order the same parts, but I need to drop the X. That's usually the way it works. Uh, is it? But this seems to be rotating just fine. Uh, I'm going to stick this in here. Yeah, that seems to be working. I'm going to stick this one over here. And it does not seem to be slipping, so this is fine. If I spin this one, that spins. If I spin this one, that spins. Uh, so the differential appears to work, uh, but the uh, Pinion and ring gear, they do not work, so I do not recommend that you buy that. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, now I'm going to put the collar. I remember these little pins go inside like that. Now the only question will be, does it go this way or this way? And that you will have to see if you spin this way. It will go forward. So you just have to check with the, the truck. So let's see, uh, we're, I'm gonna spin it left. So if I spin left, it's going forward. So if left is forward, that way, I'll spin it that way and it goes backwards. So that means I want, I want to flip the differential over. And so now if I spin left, it goes forward. So this is the way this will be installed. I remove these screws, we'll not need them place this off to the side and I will continue shortly.